This is Joyce Polino Crane. I am the news director at Westford Community Access TV, and I am here today with two firefighters from the Westford Fire Department, and we are talking about the new engine truck that just arrived in town. When, when did it uh, show up, Justin? It went into service probably about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And it's shiny red. It is. Every little boy's dream. <laughs> I know I raised two. Um, um, Brian, tell us what are some of these amazing gadgets here that... So what you're looking at here is the uh, main pump panel for this truck. This is how we get water to the fire um, and we connect with the hydrant over here. But basically these are all the different valves and everything else that we use to get to um, our uh, hose lines that we have over here as well so that we can get water to the fire. There's a tank inside here with all the water inside of it. How many gallons of water does it hold? It's a thousand gallons of water in this truck right now. Basically what we're looking at here is just a giant toolbox, right? So we carry all the necessary tools that we might need on any given day for any particular um, incident that we go to. This is called a high-rise kit. This is something that we would take into a building um, and connect to what's called a standpipe within the building. Um, so if we were on the third or fourth floor, second floor, it doesn't matter. Um, this is something we can connect to the building itself. And then we can actually use this, this line to put fires out if we needed to. Um, exterior lighting, we have rescue ropes. Um, behind there, there's more, there are more rope bags. There's actually a, um, there's a dry suit that we can use if we're going into the water. Uh, three different types of um, fire extinguishers. Here's a chainsaw. And a toolbox. So back here we have our hydrant bag. So when we pull up, we uh, have our equipment in here. This basically gets carried over to the hydrant. And inside here is everything we need to hook up to the hydrant. Our tools are in here. This handy bag with a hammer and multiple connections we use, as well as this device. And this one here is used if we have to go into water to uh, help us get water to the fire. Like a pond, yeah, exactly, or a lake. Which there are many of in Westford. Absolutely. And you do train for that. Correct. Right? Absolutely. And then this ladder gets us up top. Up, up underneath these two tarps is uh, some extra uh, hose, our uh, big hose that we hook up to the hydrants is up there. Uh, it's called LDH. And then we have three inch hose as well to get up there. And the ladder's used to help us access it. And then we have some hard suction in both those sections um, that is well uh, used in the lakes and the ponds and in here we have our ladder storage um, for the 24 footer a 14 footer and then uh, this one is 10 feet for attics um, and then we got some other tools here that we use uh, for different reasons pulling down ceilings gaining entry into houses and everything just nests neatly in there. For now, yeah, absolutely. It's all designed ahead of time. In case we need uh, power to scene, we've got a cord here. We can pull this pretty far. Um, and then we have uh, a fan for venting, multiple lights to give us more lighting at night, and extension cords, um, and then just some handy tools. So when you buy a new fire engine, does all the equipment come with it, or do you do you stock that later? We have to either reuse stuff or buy new stuff. That's generally how it works. It doesn't come with any of this equipment. So this was about a half a million dollar truck or 600,000 you said? That is correct. And so is the equipment extra beyond that? Yes, exactly. And it gets pretty expensive with the equipment on top of it as well. That's why some of it gets reused. It depends on the budget. Um, and then some of it we have to replace because it's so old and get new stuff. This one here, more tools, kind of like the other side. This swings open, um, and there's more room back here. Um, future uh, room for more tools if we need them to mount on there. But these are all mounted so they can be secured safely. And, and then this is another compartment, just like on the other side. These are all extra bottles for us, for our SCBAs for when we're in fires. Um, there's bottles in the front of the truck we'll show you soon and these are just the spares and then in this cabinet here 
we do a lot of emergency calls, medical aid stuff, so we have our first in bag here, which if we get there before the ambulance, we can use this. It helps us uh, take the patient's vitals and treat them as necessary. And then we have oxygen here as well if the patient needs some oxygen with multiple devices inside, um, normal breathers, BVMs. And then this is uh, a C-spine bag with all the equipment if somebody has a neck injury, uh, been involved in a car accident. And, and then we have some cribbing, um, and this here is speedy dry, and then we have this here for a case we had to get into a vehicle. Uh, it's called the Jaws. Who's, that's, that what they look like? That's one kind. Jaws of life. We are currently waiting uh, for uh, our uh, new ones. We uh, haven't got them on the truck yet. This mm -hmm. is from the, uh, the old truck, um, but we're trying out some uh, new devices to to uh, see what's best for the department. Our personal equipment back here, because there's either can st stock it here, there's only the two of us on the uh, in this truck uh, during this shift. Unless we have to go to another community, then we end up with four of us. And so right now it's not being used, but we can put like a fire coat, fire helmet, um, and boots inside here. Uh, so right now it's stuck for two firefighters. Correct. And you can stock it for four? Yes. Are there seats for four? There's, yes, there's two seats back here, and then we have obviously the driver's seat and the officer's seat up front. And each seat, other than the driver's seat, has the uh, SCBAs in them for accessibility, so we can get them, get them on us pretty quick en route to the fire. Um, the uh, driver has to come around and get his own. We'll go around and we'll show you where that is. Okay. Yeah, here's the officer's side, um, passenger side where he sits and he can control the uh, sirens so in the air horn and uh, he usually is uh, in charge of the radios and communication. On the front side here too we have a, a jump line. This jump line is great for multiple reasons. Brush fires, car fires. It's pretty quick. Wow. Pulls out pretty easy. It's very uh, very easy to use and put back after we use it um, and then we have a couple lines in here for if we have to go into a brush fire deep in the woods some forestry lines as well can hook up to it so over here this is the driver's scba he can't wear it while he's driving um, it's just not uh, ideal so we have it here so when he jumps out after he's getting the truck into uh, gear uh, into um, neutral i'm sorry and uh, he can get to it and put it on with his gear so that's with that cabinet. And then back here, it's just kind of the same concept as the other side. Um, I put my pants here when it's just me on shift with my partner. And we just have uh, these seats here. With, and everybody gets a headset for hearing, which is very convenient. And we can all communicate and talk to each other. So has it been used yet? We've been on many calls, yes. Not, I don't think we've done a fire with it yet, uh -huh. but we've been on many medical calls and, and, and other types of calls, yes. Oh, it's a big town, so we have a lot to cover 32 here. 32 square miles. 32 square miles and about 20, 23,000 people living here. Full time, and then during the day, that, that goes up significantly with yeah. all the businesses in town. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for giving us this tour of the new fire engine. Really enjoyed it. And um, hope to see it around town. You will. Thank you very much. For Westford Cat, this is Joyce Polino Crane. Have a great day. <laughs>